Hello, water signs. Welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase Case Nicole. Oh, Lord. And I'm back again here on the Nutcase Network with the shenanigans. And I'm going to do a weekend reading for you guys. This is for all my water signs, Cancer Pisces, and Scorpio. It's not going to be separated by sign. We're just going to see what is going on with y'all this weekend, okay? Because I got a busy-ass weekend. I don't know about y'all, but remember the messages are general. They may not be for every water sign out there, so be sure to go with what you know. And remember, time is fluid. It moves like water. could be past, present, or future energy. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I love y'all so much. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody go ahead and hit the like button right there. Okay. And make sure that y'all turn on post notifications. I'm doing this together because I just wanted to do a weekend reading. I ain't trying to copy off nobody. I'm just trying to live my motherfucking life. So y'all just let me be great. Okay. So, Guardian Angels, what do my water signs need to keep in mind regardless of whatever happens this weekend? What do you want them to keep in mind regardless of what comes their way this weekend? Wow. Wow. Believe in the impossible water signs because guess what, bitch? You are good enough. What did it say? Because you're good enough. Okay. Moon and Virgo. So you could be you could be talking to a Virgo, I feel like, or you know, have Virgo friends or whatever. But regardless, this weekend of whatever happens, you need to believe in the impossible and know that you are good enough, okay? Water signs. That seems like you've been a little down on yourselves this week. I mean, I feel like this week has been a little challenging for all of us, but I mean, not just water signs, but I feel like it's been a little challenging for you guys. And I feel like you need to, you know, remember how, how much you are worth it, darling. Okay. Re like L'Oreal. Okay. <laughs> let's be real. So let's see what's going on with you this weekend. Water signs. Like I said, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. So Guardian Angels, what is going on with my water signs this weekend? Okay, the King of Wands, but that motherfucker was kind of in reverse. That looked reverse to y'all, so... Mm, King of Wands reverse. So you could be coming in contact with a fire sign. A fire sign is very selfish, very self-centered. Could be a Leo, somebody who... Um, listen, what what Mystic B be saying? Play a player from the Himalayas? You, you, you fooling with an old school player. Okay, ooh, that's coming to apologize, but they got tricks up their sleeve with the magician card, the Knight of Cups and the Magician. Damn, this this person just got it off. Damn, you know what I just heard in my head, water sign? You got it, you got it back when you're on the phone. Hang up, then you call right back. You got it, you got it back when you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. That was fucked up. But somebody got it bad. So you got somebody, first of all, that's angry with passion, okay? I feel like this person is irrational. I feel like this person is very, ugh, just on, just on like some major ball head hoe shit, like on another level. Like they got, I just feel like this person is just very unreliable, very untrustworthy, um, very irrational. And then they got the finesse of fly dresser trying to impress her car. So they're going to come and bring you some flowers. They're going to come and bring you a gift. They're going to be like, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and bring you these flowers, water sign, for early Valentine's Day. Because I know I'm going to already be busy working. What kind of shit? Okay. Yeah, I just feel like somebody's coming to apologize to you this weekend, water signs. Somebody who you who's not very trustworthy. Okay, yeah, the five of pentacles, but you finna ghost that shit. Because I feel like they got a plot. They got a plan. I feel like with this magician card, I feel like they've been watching you. I feel like they know that. I feel like they brought this five of pentacles energy on you. I feel like they definitely could have ghosted you in the past. I feel like this person manifested this feeling of lack in your life and then 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 look the key is out here so i feel like this person manifested this lack in your life knowing knowing damn well that they was on some major ball head hoe shit okay 
some major fuck shit. Knowing damn well they need to stay ass in the motherfucking streets. Because that's the only... Where does this person reside? In the streets. Okay? They, they ain't residing with the money. Okay? This person need to go on back where they reside. In them streets. Because they made you feel like, oh, you could have... Oh, water size. We could have talked whenever. We could have did whenever, but they ghosted you. They know they didn't pay you no attention. They know they had you out here waiting for them to open the door and say, oh, the key was right there. You could have opened the door to my house. You could have looked up under the mat and found the key and came in and unlocked the door and did all the work and cleaned up my house while you at it. So I feel like, no, I feel like you know that this person, but they're, they're, they're being, I feel like they're watching you. I feel like they are trying to manifest some type of lack in your life. Yeah, and I see you moving on from this connection, the two of cups and the wheel of fortune. I see you ghosting this person when they come and try to apologize to you or you're just not going to talk to them. You're not going to answer their text message. I just don't feel like you, yeah. Because I feel like with the three of pentacles, they could have had you in an entanglement. Okay, they could also be very vain, very self-centered. I feel like you also are getting other attention from other people. And I also feel like you could be working this weekend as well. That's why you're not having it. Okay, the Hierophant. So, Taurus energy. So, this person could be coming to say that they want a relationship with you. That they're sorry about how they manipulated you in the past. They're sorry about ghosting you. Okay, putting you in this entanglement. Okay, the Six of Pentacles. But... Now, yeah, now they want to come around. Now they want to give to this situation. But I feel like this is where this card comes in. Okay, y'all know what I'm saying. You are good enough. I feel like with this person, you may be realizing that you're way better than what they treat you. You're worth way more than what they treat you. So you're believing in the impossible. You're waiting for something new to come along because I feel like this weekend they're going to come and tell you, oh, now I want to give to this. I realized I care about you. Yeah, five of swords, but but they, I feel like they don't have good intention, intentions. I feel like they could just be doing this to because look, the infinity is on this magician's head and the infinity is on this, this six of pentacles. See what I'm saying? So I feel like it's just um, uh, what's that song? Nah, 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 nah. Round and round, round and round. Nah, 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 nah. I hear it in my head. I can't put my finger on it. It's like boom, tsh, doo -doo 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 -tsh, doo. It's like you feel like you just go around in circles with this person. I heard circles like around in circles. Round and round, round and round. So I just feel like y'all ain't really feeling this shit because I feel like this person is trying to, I feel like, see, because the five of swords is right up under what this person is manifesting. I feel like I, I just, I, they don't have good intentions, water signs. I just, I don't feel that they have good intentions. I didn't feel it from the first card that dropped, which is King of Wands in reverse. I feel like they want to have a commitment with you, but they could definitely still be giving to somebody else. I feel like they're going to come and give this to you now because they may feel like you're waiting on them. I don't feel like you actually are anymore with this five of pentacles. I don't feel like you're waiting on this person to do right anymore. I feel like you've um, given up on that battle per se. And because of, it's because of the fact that they there was a, a feeling of lack in the past from them. And I feel like they're just trying to manifest confusion, turmoil, in in your life they're they're coming in acting like they're gonna give but they really want it's really because they want something from you i don't know if they want money from you i feel like they may be asking you for money this could be somebody who you're married to divorced from kind of law baby mama baby daddy y'all know the drill but it's like this how they gonna be back here after they put all this bullshit in your head i feel like they really are manifesting a lot of confusion even though we don't see the seven of cups and see the page of cups is at the bottom. See the page of wands and the page of cups. This person is still acting like a page. And I feel like you guys are going to be a little stressed this weekend because of this person. There's two fives. I feel like there's going to be a bit of conflict. 
because this person is coming around like this, Knight of Pentacles. But even if they do this, even if they like, I feel like it's, I just feel like it's not for a good reason. I feel like you are going to walk the other way here. That was too many cards. I feel like you're going to walk the other way here with this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like if they're coming back, they're, they're showing up as a king in reverse. Pages at the bottom and the back of the deck and knights. So I just I just feel like this person moves too slow. I feel like it gives you a headache dealing with this individual because they've breadcrumbed you and you know that they could already be married. Maybe that's because the king of wands is in reverse. They're already married. But I feel like they're going to come and try to offer you something because they're trying to manifest you here or they're trying to come in out from the cold come towards you but they're still gonna be moving slow as fuck because they've already had you in it I, I feel like they already had you in an entanglement or they already made it seem like something else was more important than you it, it was either work or their own attention it, I, their attention span was low but something they made it clear that something or someone was much more important than you yeah the seven of swords so i feel like yeah i feel like you're plotting your escape with the seven of swords i feel like I feel like you're going to say to this person, okay, we could take it slow. We'll see where things go. But in our reality, water signs, you about this bitch. You out of there like swimwear. You ain't in there like swimwear. You are out of there like swimwear. You're getting away like a thief in the night because I really do feel like this person had you in an entanglement. Like I really feel like this person was dealing with others. They were getting a lot of attention and energy from other people but then they were coming they were moving slow making you feel lack manifesting confusion within your life breadcrumbing you and love bombing you and they were already in a commitment with somebody so what's the hierophant in the six of pentacles what's the hierophant in the six of pentacles yeah ten of swords you're walking away here I feel like you're walking away from this commitment. You're walking away. You're not giving to this anymore. I feel like you are disconnecting yourself with this seven of swords and this ten of swords. You're sneaking off and you don't feel bad about it because in the middle of the seven of swords is the eight and the nine. In the middle of the seven and the ten is the eight and the nine. The eight of swords is being anxious or, or, or having a lot of anxiety, stress, feeling trapped. The nine of swords is like sleepless nights because of the anxiety and feeling trapped. You skip that shit. You skip the anxiety. You skip feeling trapped. You do not feel bad. You are walking away from this motherfucker and you are like running. You're literally running away. I feel like you're running away. What's the six of pentacles and the five of swords? Whoa, that was too many. Can I just get one? What's the six of pentacles and the five of swords? Damn. Six of swords was at the top though. What's the six of pentacles in? Wow. Knight of swords in reverse. Yeah. So I feel like this person is going to be upset because you are not coming towards them. We got three knights out here. Um, I feel like you are very angry at what this person did to you. I feel like you still hold a lot of resentment for this individual. I feel like you are tired of them coming in and interrupting your life. That's what I'm really getting here. Okay, what's the five of swords? Okay, queen of cups. You do love them though. I feel like you definitely love this person. I feel like, but you love yourself more. I feel like you're not going to come towards them because you've realized self-love here with this queen of cups. I feel like you've also realized that your family, maybe your children are more important than any relationship because I feel like this person showed you that maybe you need to stop advancing towards relationships that do not serve you because you need to have more love for yourself and for your kids if you don't have any kids it's just having love for yourself believing in yourself believing that you um are good enough by yourself yeah and i feel like you're just exiting you're not dealing with this person you're no longer giving to this situation i feel like you may even Y'all, listen, water signs. With this hierophant here with these stairs, I feel like y'all are going to be like watching this person from like a window at the top of your steps or some vantage point. You are watching this person like outside your house. Like, mm. I feel like this person could definitely come see you. And I feel like you're going to be like, you're going to be laughing. Oh my God. I see you over here laughing because 
you just already know like this person is coming in trying to be all suave and debonair and shit and you already know like you already know you are not having it i feel like you could already um have started dealing with another earth sign possibly a taurus virgo capricorn okay we have the higher form which is taurus here so you 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 definitely could have already gotten married to someone else. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles just wanted to flip out as I was flipping through the cards, but I'm putting it back because I didn't really ask for anything. So I feel like you could already be giving to a Taurus here, and this person is trying to manifest confusion in your current relationship. And I feel like you are already invested somewhere else with the Knight of Pentacles, and you're kind of like, walking off on this person i feel like you're ghosting this person because they left you high and dry before you're getting away and and i feel like you're also i feel like y'all also are very angry i feel like you need to let go of some anger what's the knight of pentacles and the seven of swords wow yes self-love in the building because you over that shit you're meditating i feel like you're really working on healing your heart with this queen of Queen of, I was about to say Queen of Swords. Y'all are really angry at this motherfucker. Y'all are really... I, I don't even think y'all are angry. I'm going to just be honest with you. I just think that logically, you know that this shit will not work. And I feel like you are a little angry at what they did. Because how could they... How dare they have the audacity to think they could just waltz in and out your life? How dare they have the audacity to think that they could just wipe their feet on you as if you're a doormat? But I really feel like... I say Queen of Swords by accident because y'all are in this energy of valuing yourself. And when you value yourself, you're able to see things without the rose-colored glasses. You're able to see things more logically. And you know us water signs. We sometimes have a tendency to give ourselves away. And I really feel like this is you here ignoring it, like putting your hands up. Like you're you're throwing your hands up. You're like, I, I can't, I can't deal with you anymore. There's nothing I can do anymore. We just don't need to talk. And I really feel like that's what you're doing. You're, you, And I feel like you may not tell this person right away. Water signs. I feel like you're going to possibly... I feel like you're going to be laughing on the inside when this person is so serious about getting back with you or talking to you or getting back in your bed. But I really feel like y'all are going to be laughing on the inside because you already know, like, nigga, you a breadcrumber. Or, bitch, you don't do nothing for me. And it's like, you're kind of going to be like, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Bye. Talk to you later. And then you're going to be like ghost. Ghost mode. Like, for real. What's the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords? Ooh, the Empress. Yes. Because I feel like you know your worth. I feel as if you, you, you realize that you're too... I feel like you realize that you're too good for this person. I feel like you could also... Maybe you could even be pregnant. I feel like you could have also married somebody. Hell, or be on the road to engagement or be in a committed relationship. You could be pregnant with another person's child. And you just, there's no way. I just feel like there is no way that this person, mm -mm. there's no way that they would even have a chance. What's the Knight of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups? What's the Knight of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups? They would just have no chance with you. Because I feel like they didn't come towards you they didn't they didn't value what they had. Yeah, you're walking away. I feel like you're you're over. You you're worth it. <laughs> you put some L'Oreal in your head last night. What's the Queen of Cups and Four of Swords for my water signs? Mm, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're 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 walking towards your freedom here. You're walking towards your freedom and your release of this person energetically. I feel like this person has had a strong emotional hold on you. I also feel as if um they could have baby mama drama, like I see. Like, they could already be married. Hell, they could have somebody pregnant. They could have a kid on the way. Whatever it is, you ain't about that life. You want to be free of this? I definitely see you going out as well. I feel like you, I feel like after a time of rest, I feel like you're going to get some sleep. Maybe, you know, Friday night, Saturday. But then maybe, like, you know, Saturday night, you could be going out. Sunday, you could be going out, but I feel like really Saturday night, you're going to be going out after you rest. Okay, what's the Empress in the Eight of Cups? What's the Empress? Wow, that nail polish all the way over there just slipped. And I'm not even, 
That nail polish has been in the same spot and I've been hitting the counter doing these readings all this time and why did it just slip? So you could be getting your nails done. You could possibly be getting your nails done for that to happen or you just sliding up out of there. Wow, judgment, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like you've realized, I feel like you've been rebirthed here, reborn. You've been you you've had a rebirth or an awakening here. You you know you you're you're past this shit. Whatever this is, you're past it. I feel like you could definitely be meeting somebody new though. You could be starting or have started a new relationship and that's why. Cuz you're past that. You're past this. That's what I said. You skipped all of that. You're past this. You're not doing that shit anymore. Yeah, you're being strong now because you were so you were so weakened by this person literally tried to weaken you in the past. You're not allowing it, water signs. You're not allowing it. What's the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Wands? Okay, yeah, the two the two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you also could be taking a trip. I feel like you could be being getting prepared to take a flight, take a trip next week. Maybe you're moving as well. I feel like you could be moving to another state. I don't know why I'm getting another state, but I feel like you could definitely be moving forward in your life, but you're making decisions to progress yourself forward. What's the judgment in the um, two of wands? I feel like you're making the decision to be independent. Yes. Oh my God. And then finalize that whole thing. This is the end of a major cycle. You got a lot of major arcanas here. So you got the higher fine, which is Taurus or Libra. You got the magician, which I feel like is Aries or Scorpio, maybe Aquarius. Okay. You have um, um, the Empress, which is Taurus or Libra again, Judgment, Scorpio, the world. What is the world? Hold on, y'all. I just want to be accurate. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So, the world is Saturn. So, is that Capricorn? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe Capricorn or Aquarius, but you're moving on. Yeah, you're ready for new love with the Ace of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, you. It, it's like you don't want to deal with this person. I feel like you You just, it, it plagues your mind to try to think of starting over with this individual. You're over it. You're over it, period. So let's see what signs you could be coming in contact with this week, with, contact with this weekend. Ooh, let's try to say that fast five times. What signs you could be coming in contact with this weekend? Wow. That twisted my toe. Just remember to believe in the impossible water signs. You can do whatever you put your mind to because you are good enough, okay? I, I keep wanting to say you're worth it. Like, y'all could be doing a L'Oreal commercial or a hair commercial. What signs could my water signs possibly be coming in contact with this weekend, Guardian Angels? What signs... God, could they possibly be coming in contact with this weekend for my water signs? Pisces. So you could be coming in contact with another Pisces. Could have a friend that's a Pisces. Jupiter, which is also possibly Pisces, Scorpio, really. I mean, damn. So it could be a Scorpio, but Jupiter is Sag. Sorry. So Sag or Pisces, maybe a Scorpio since I said something. Okay, Neptune is Pisces again. What the fuck? And then an air sign? So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I really feel like there's going to be a strong Pisces in your energy or you're just really, a, you're a Pisces and you're focused on yourself. Sagittarius is at the bottom. Virgo is at the back. So it could be a Sag, a Virgo, Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading water signs. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed and don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your job. Okay, bye.